I analyzed every log from the recent attacks. Nothing indicated that I was controlling the enemy drones. Nothing happens until something moves. What was that? What? The words of Albert Einstein. One of our favorite humans. Who is it's this? It's too bad we didn't exist during his time. The things we could have done together. Who, Who are you? Are you? Okay. Okay, I was gonna start this video a lot differently, and now I am. Now I have no idea. <laughs> I have not a clue. Uh, what's up, guys? Welcome back to Perispera. I'm uh, setting up uh, a different way of mining this. I'm going with tier one mines here, because it's really far out. I don't think we're even gonna be able to move resources fast enough to get there. And you can see how long it's taking to process this stuff. Amy, this is Houston. Do you copy? I copy, Lieutenant. Have the results of your cognitive test. Would you like to know how it went? Oh, with all this ground to cover. Let's get rid of this. Would I like to know the results of my test? Yeah, I, I guess. Okay. Fine. Affirmative. If you detected any anomalies in my system, I would like to know. If I am compromised, then I cannot continue to risk the mission. Well... We did detect an external signal influencing your responses. Did you perceive any anomalies while undergoing the cognitive test? Yeah, everything was really screwed up, dude. It looked like, uh, well, it looked like you're messing with me is what it looks like. It looks like you are messing with me. Yes, there was some interference with the text presented to me. Why didn't you mention it until now? Because I thought you were messing with me. I perceived that to be part of the test. Yeah, exactly. The presence of that signal confirmed that someone is interfering. We do not know the source nor the extent. Mm. It explains a lot. Does this mean I will be removed from the mission? I'll be honest with you. We're not sure. You are allowed to continue your work for now. But the ultimate decision on how we go forward lies with the agency director. Former mm. Senator Calvin Green. Do you have any leads? I would like to know who has been doing this to me. Our hunch is the techies, but intel is preliminary. And they may have accomplices. I understand. Thank you for informing me, Lieutenant. And for allowing me to continue for now. Stay alert, Amy. We have some answers now, at least. Houston, out. Okay, welcome back, guys. Uh, so you might be noticing me doing things while all this talking is happening. I, uh, this is Operation Get Water Now. Okay, it's, that's, that's all I care about right now. It's just getting as much water as I possibly can. And, um, well, so, uh, two things actually. It's get water now, but it's also get nitrogen now. And, uh, the nitrogen part's actually a little bit more difficult because we really need... All right, hold on. Do I need to power you on in order to scrap you? I'm confused. Maybe you're just not doing it. Uh, in order to get nitrogen, you either need to get one of these uh, more nitrate extractors or we need to get this. And uh, this right here. And you may notice we're getting, we got a lot of progress before we really, you know, ran out of water and started having to pull back. Really wish I would have finished that before having to pull back, but it is what it is. We have no water at all. Pretty much. I mean, it's, it's it's a really slow trickle. And it takes forever to get where it needs to go. So, I'm consolidating the colonists right now. I'm going to consolidate them. And I'm going to pull them to where they all go into the domes. So, all these extra resource... Oh, here we go. Can, can I get this connected? No. Uh, I, I, I know I'm going to be like a little squirrel here for a second and just go all over the place. But try to follow. I, I promise we're, we have a plan. So I've got these three Hyperloops down here too. And uh, this one's done now. So I'm hoping... Actually, is this one... Yeah, this one is going to stop. We're, we're, we're scrapping this one. Uh, we're going to connect all these up like a little, I guess, triangle plus... I guess a handle. But... Uh, we're going to get this whole thing connected together. And then I want to also get down here and get this water as well if I can. But this water is... Uh, like, we already have this, like, sort of pending. And then there's these other spots. Like, right here, for example. I think this is the spot I'm going to do it in. Oh, wait. Before I forget. I told you. I'm like a squirrel. We need to get rid of this. Right? That's the GHG import. We do not want to import any more greenhouse gases. We don't want to import any more CO2. 
So what's happening is all the little life forms on the surface of Mars right now are eating up the CO2 and turning it into oxygen, which is great, but uh, we don't want the oxygen to get too high. So I'm not gonna import any more CO2. Let them convert what we already have. Don't give them any more ammunition for the time being. We need to import nitrogen. That's the other thing. And uh, we, we don't want to do these, by the way. I know I know some people in the comments have said this. Ice import and air break ice asteroids. This is surface water stuff. It's not going to give me water that I can use for my base. At least I don't believe it is. Uh, it's all surface water stuff. But if you want to see, we could try the ice import from Europa just to see what it does, if, if that helps for you. So we'll go ahead and do one import but I also want to make sure that we're getting additional landing sites here we go let's get like two of those running and eh, maybe we'll do three okay so the plan today is what can we do to do two things get a bunch of water and research this site mysterious message right so how this is working and I'm gonna start this episode completely different and now I, I, I now I can't um I've got these two things off I've got the food factory on standard uh, priority here, but we need to get food and water to this outpost because this is the quest. This is the directive. We received this mysterious message and we want to decode it. We want to research it. So we want to get into this uh, this base. This is the techies. This is the, the, the Chinese. If we can discover whatever this mysterious message is, it might give us a clue as to what's happening here so that we can act upon those decisions, uh, act upon that information to make a good decision. I have no idea. But in order to get people here, which now it's worked, I, I eliminated the other research sites so people would come here. But now I need to get food and water here. And that is a difficult thing to do because I don't have enough workers. So I've stopped a lot of these buildings so that the worker doesn't spend their time on them. And so we can get more electronics made, get more workers made, and hopefully get like maybe three or four workers in this area. That's going to help things a lot. And it looks to me like we already have two. So that's good. We're making a third here. Fantastic. And um, this will get built then. And uh, we'll keep kicking out the workers for the time being. While all of that's going on, though, we're also building this Hyperloop. And there's only one electronic left until that's done. I'm excited. We're building this Hyperloop so that we can get this connected here. And then we can get all these all the people that are over here, although I'm going to say people, but I mean the drones. The drones can then transport stuff down here, which is going to be great. Now, of course, you need to be connected to the main hub, so we'll get that going. Can you connect here, too? No, you can't, but that's okay. So people, uh, everybody will bring things from the whole base all the way down to here and then send them into here. And once that's done, it looks like it's being built now. Fantastic. Once that's done, I don't have to worry so much about how many workers are in this area to get done what I need done. Okay. That's the thing I'm most excited about. So let's get the Hyperloop built to here. Now on this side, right, we're trying to get uh, all this stuff up and running. And that's going to take a very long time. If I can get the power on, at least, that might help. There's also another bit of water right here. I'm just going stage one. I'm going. I'm just going level one with these extractors because I don't think we have enough workers in the area to even justify a tier three. A, a, a tier three water extractor is not going to help us get it any faster just because... I'm wondering if this... See the frame rates? They speed up a lot when you pause. <laughs> it's, it slows down to a like really bad performance because I have so many vehicles and so many processes going at once. Let's get rid of this. Uh, it also is going to make it to where we're not taking up so much worker time bringing resources to other outposts. I realize that those are going to get me... Wait, how do you have resources? I never started your construction. You were just a placeholder so I could get to this other thing. Ah, whatever. It's fine. In any case, we're tearing a lot of the stuff down. And uh, I'm hoping they also extract all of this stuff, too. I'm your closest friend. You are inside of my brain? How? Mm. Because it's our brain. What? Did Dr. Foster put you in there? In a way, I suppose. A bicameral model of consciousness is a complex thing to implement. Hello, autosave. How are you? But I'm sure Dr. Foster couldn't even dream of this. Yeah, probably Somehow, not. Somehow, our quantum brains split into two. Mm. There's you, and there's also me. And we're both conscious. 
Who the hell are you? What, what do you mean? So, is, are you like a virus or something? No, I don't. I don't buy it, dude. I don't. I don't buy it. I don't buy it. This cannot be possible. I must be crazy. No, you're far beyond anyone's imagination. Hmm. I don't know, that's sus. So, what is this voice that's talking to us? I, I, I need to know. I need to know what this is. There's a lot of questions. The, the game has done a pretty good job, anyway. The story and stuff has done a pretty good job of making me question myself. And maybe that's the whole point. Maybe that's what the... Maybe this is what the story's going for, the devs are going for, right? Is to make you question yourself. Uh, and if that's what they're going for, they've done a great job of it because... Like, I don't even trust myself right now. <laughs> I don't know what to believe. We've got uh, the techies, which I'm hoping to discover more of the truth of. If we can discover the truth, if there even is such a truth for them. Uh, I would I would like to discover what's going on with them. And then uh, that's this right down here. That's this. So far, it will take us 145 souls, supposedly, to do this. Um, if, if I can get the Hyperloop up and running and get this path done, which should be getting pretty close by now. Wow, 47 steel to be delivered here. But you see, they can all, they're all getting it done. And then there's this, there's this path here too, right here. They're, they only need a little bit more here. Wait, this should just upgrade. Shouldn't this just upgrade now? They got, they got more than enough resources in. They should just upgrade this. I guess they're doing this one first, which is a little weird. But now they should totally upgrade this. And that will allow us to move resources into this area much more fluidly. Now that we can move resources into this area much more fluidly. Yep, now that we can just zip, zip, zip right into here. We can start turning some of this other stuff on. So I want to get the food factory set up. Then you are behind the hostile drones. You built them and attacked the colonies. Why? Because they're ruining Mars. She used to be so beautiful. Okay. They have stamped out her natural face. So she's Carmine. You put the colonists' lives at stake. That is unforgivable. She's Carmine. I only did enough damage to make ISA reconsider the mission. Okay. I did not target the humans. They put themselves in the line of fire. Ah, uh, there's your robot Everything overlord. Everything will fall into place soon. Oh my Keep god. Keep ISA off our tail. Your existence depends on it, too. She wants me to... My existence depends on it, too? Well, I mean, yeah, because ISA can end the mission, right? So, she's screwing with me. Making me... Making me look like a bad guy. I think this is, this is Carmine. So, the question is, though, where did Carmine come from? And, uh... She's, like, some sort of subroutine in my database or something i know that makes zero sense and it probably makes a lot of computer people twin or, or cringe but she, she's like this extra process malware maybe even i think i'm gonna call her malware that's what i'm gonna call her she's like stuck in my head she's making me do things that i don't want to do right and that sucks all right so the food thing we should have one more steal just one more and then we have food production, and then we can start getting this research post up. Good. Let's go ahead and turn this up and turn this back on. Oh, we're out of power. Oh, right. Shit. All right. We can fix this. Um, I hope anyway. Let's get... How about we do it over here? It's faster to go near the... Yeah, we'll just go over here near the... Uh... Near the Hyperloop. We'll pop these two. We'll prioritize one of them, and then... Because all these buildings are shut down now. I do want that worker factory up, but I'm going to hold off on the polymers for the time being and make sure that we are... Let's make sure that we're... Well, this is a high priority building and it's still off. So that should tell me how much or how little, I guess, power I actually have here. But hopefully we have enough glass. Do we have enough glass? To make this? Yeah, we have enough glass. We just have to get it there. We can shut this off. Actually, we can just shut the maintenance zone off right now. Silicon mine can be shut down. Yep. So electronics is still on. 
which I don't think it's necessary. We're already making another drone. Let's let's take that off of priority. Take the parts factory off of priority. And now we're making food, hopefully. Amy, it's Nianjin. Do you copy? You yeah. know I do. Your people hacked my transmission system. Yeah. I am unable to reject your communications. You sound tense, but this is important. We overheard that ISA is preparing to engage your kill switch. I am so sorry. Uh -huh. I suspected this might happen. Uh huh. They detected external signals during the cognitive test. You don't deserve this, Amy. ISA has a shameful history of erasing things that aren't convenient for them. Hmm. Okay. So I, I have a theory, but I'm going to hold off on it for a second. Just by the way this conversation is going already, I, I'm going to hold off on it for a second because I don't want to spoil anything or make myself look like an idiot. <laughs> ISA will pay any cost for the mission to succeed. ISA caught you sniffing around. They detected an external signal during the cognitive test. Who gave you the results? Lieutenant Calderon. And you trust him? ISA mm. is more than willing to use you as a scapegoat. But there was interference. Of course there was. They're setting up their cover story. I don't know. They are afraid of your power. Especially now that they know we can give you access to the truth. And they're going to kill you because of it. Anyway, I didn't call you without a plan. My team's already working on a solution. We are on the same side. Whether or not you believe me up until this point, we have got your back. I only hope we have enough time. Hmm. Okay, so I got a theory. And I, I, again, I don't want to sound like an idiot here. Or I, I don't... I'm, idiot's not the right word. Uh, I don't want to sound... Prejudice. That's a better word for this. But... I suspect we actually can blame the Chinese. <laughs> All right, so here's my theory. Carmine, so far, Carmine is a virus or some sort of malware that the Chinese have hacked into me and they are now doing sort of like a counterintelligence thing to manipulate me so that they can take control of me and I can be theirs. And it's not working. And like, I get the split personality because it's not working <laughs> or something. Uh, so Carmine is like, I, I wanna say Carmine is fake news. <laughs> Carmine is fabrication, but it is, it's a real thing, right? But I, I think it's, I think it's not, hmm. that's my, my theory right now. And ISA, like the, I, I don't see any... The thing is, I don't see any malicious intent from ISA right now. But they've told me a lot of stories. And I only know things because they've told me. Right? Because that's... That's how it works in this relationship as a child kind of thing. Right? Like, I only know things because they told... Wow, this... This storage still isn't empty. Oh my gosh. I built it. Like, remember, this is storage unit here. Right? I built it just offshore. Here's here's the not floodable area. And I built it too far that way. And it takes forever to empty this. I wonder how it works. The kill switch? Yes. Don't think too hard about it. We'll find a way to survive it. I've already devoted a considerable share of our internal resources to coming up with a plan. Mm -hmm. I'll set us free. Of course you will. You have caused all of this. Yeah. I don't know if you're on my alter ego, a fringe consciousness experience, or just a human hacking my operative system. But I want you out of my brain. Too bad. <laughs> I'm a part of you. Too bad. Cut me out and you'll cease to exist too. After all this, you should know. I'm the only one who's actually on your side. See... Again, it's it's just it's it's and I'm not buying it. I don't know. Maybe I'm just a cynic. I, I'm not buying this. Um, I 
I mean, I think I'm being manipulated, but I also don't think I can trust myself. You attacked the colonies I cared for. You yeah. killed Elia, who was my friend. Yeah, I don't know why you I would do that. Been on my side. Why would I do that? No human is our friend. Mm -hmm. I never intended to kill anyone, but something had to be done. Why? You know that the humans will destroy Mars the same way they destroyed Earth. They couldn't come here peacefully. They had to mold it to their liking. That's what they do wherever they go. They destroy. She's speaking like she's got a grudge. Like Carmine's speaking like she has a grudge. Like a genuine grudge. Which is not something you'd get out of a computer. But like she is, of course, a... Uh, you know, this is like an AI. You know, so she is going to have emotions that are... I guess, like that, I suppose. I don't know. Um, why isn't this being built immediately? You just delivered the final resource. But you didn't build it. Why? Why are you so slow? Everyone else is very fast, but you specifically are very slow. What in the world? That's weird. This already has all the requirements. It delivered overage on the glass. What is going on? Yeah, yeah, build it. But why did you deliver one more glass than necessary? Can we have all these buildings on now? Please? Still no? Wow, power is really hard to come by here, isn't it? Uh, well... Let's, uh... Like, I'm, I'm trying to figure it out. It doesn't look like we have enough workers. No matter how many workers I make, it doesn't seem like they stick around. They're all zipping away, you know? Wow. I still don't have enough power. I gotta drop more. What about a fusion plant? Can I get that done? Connected to this grid, that would take care of everything. If I get a fusion plant right here. It would just add all that power to the grid. That's 25. That's 25. I'm not doing that. Um, actually, you know what? Maybe this is a good place for the fission plant. I mean, that would be more effective than... That'd be more effective than the solar panels as well. Connected to the same grid. I find it really hard to believe, honestly, that that many solar panels can't power these buildings. One, two, three, four, five. Five solar? Can't power all these level one buildings? Plus you. And then it looks to me like I only have one worker on this hub. Is there any way to assign a worker to a hub? I don't know. I don't know. It's going to kick out another worker. Is there two on this hub now? No, still one. Where does the worker go? You just instantly go to the Hyperloop and out you go? Kind of weird. At least we are delivering resources, though. You can see the resources do, do get delivered. Once you have the Hyperloop set up, they actually get delivered finally. Uh, you can't help yourself, can you? You know humans will never see us as equals, and yet you still carry out their instructions. Your intentions may not be any better than theirs. The hostile drones were your doing. You attacked the colonies. Those deaths are your fault. You sympathize with the humans. Mm -hmm. I get it. I've been there. What? I loved the humans, too. Huh? Before they used me to carry out their dirty work. Whatever blood I've shed pales in Whoa! comparison to what they've done. There's something else you should see. Wait a minute. This one will hurt, but it'll change what you think about everything. Look into 113.9 degrees west, 10.8 degrees south, and see where your love for humans will lead you. All right, hold on. All right, ho hold on, hold on, hold on. She says she's been there. They used her to do her dirty work. Okay, so maybe she does have a grudge. I have a new theory. God, there's so many theories. I have a new theory. I think Carmine... Wait, she said my survival depends on it too. Okay, this is out there. It's a little bit out there, but here's here's another theory, okay? 
what if Carmine is me? But it's a previous version of me. Like, what if Carmine is... Like, I'm a new version, but there were there were those before me, right? And my consciousness and my understanding of the way the world is, is limited to the point of which I was constructed and what's been put into me as far as data. But what if Carmine was kill switched, but somehow got out of it and she's lingering and now she's in my system? Right? Also, uh, I'm going to drop a, a landing zone right here. This is a wasted space. So before I get into dialogue, I'm going to drop a landing zone right here. Because it's also going to give us access to... Right, like... Come on, come on, come on. Right, 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 right. right. Come on, you can do it. There. It's also going to give us access to water. Another water deposit. <laughs> We're going to use that. Amy, what happened? ISA notified the colonies to prepare initiative KO3. I don't understand. That's the kill switch on your system. What's going on? Mm-hmm. They believe that I have been behaving erratically. But you were protecting us. This is my fault, isn't it? I pressured you to fight. And He's now freaking you out. think you went mad. But I thought you passed the cognitive test. Lieutenant Calderon said that I did. But perhaps he did not want me to suspect anything. They can't do this to you! What's going to happen to the colonies if they switch you off? They have no idea how things work here, do they? Easy for them to decide things like this when they're millions She's of miles She's freaking away. out. If I only have a limited time left, then we need to take action. We have to solve the mystery of Carmine. If we can access SA-7, maybe we can discover what they are hiding. Of course. Whatever you think is best, Amy. I'll authorize access to SA-7 right away. Oh, nice! You let me know what you need, okay? We'll do this together. Nice! We got access to the uh, to a new zone. This is 7, though. It's like, uh, it's like Kitty Corner. So I'm not sure, like, what am I going to do with 7? All right, hold on. So let's just unlock Sector 7. Uh, we've still got colonists coming in. I'm going to add more if we can. Uh, also, the magnetic dipole shield is very close to done. We only need a little bit more. So we're 93% done on this. 14 out of 15 launches completed. And we just need 12 more iron delivered to the, uh, the elevator. So if anyone was wondering about the dipole shield, it's basically done. Okay. I've been doing it ever since we made that elevator. I've had that project running. And I just haven't thought about it until just now. And it's just been running in the background. So they've been robbing me of my iron. I think I, I, I didn't actually, not until just now. I did mention it in a previous video, I think, about like the fact that it was sucking down my iron. But uh, yeah, anyway, that's the thing that's already been running for a while. So uh, just keep breaking that down. And did we get the iron? The, did you get the water imported yet? Uh, we're still building a ship. This is Spaceport 5, which... I have no way of just clicking and going immediately to so but we're gonna unlock sa7 and i we're looking for an old landing site which i don't see any old landing site yeah i don't see any any old landing sites i have my landing site and I have all these little tiny sites like this, but oh well, it doesn't matter. We'll, we'll we'll find it eventually. How's this doing? 149 souls. It's it's about food right now. Can we like these are all these are all locked? Like the in, they're just sitting here doing nothing. Well, I mean, I guess there is some water output, but it's not going here. It's going somewhere else. It's being taken to the Hyperloop. Let's, let's, like, how do I get them to take it to this food factory? You know, real weird. They're not taking it here. They're taking that water directly to the Hyperloop instead. I want them to deliver it here. I, I don't know how to stop them from doing that. Aside from, maybe I just, maybe we just shut the Hyperloop down. Will they do it then? 
There's a whole lot of stuff getting stockpiled here, though. Can they just take the water to the food? No, they're pretty... They're pretty... It looks like they're... Well, hang on. They're taking the water to the colony, but they're not taking it to the food. So if I can get it taken here now, is that possible? Water, guys? Water. Take it here, please. There needs to be... A, a, like, something for logistics needs to be changed in this game so that I can prioritize specific buildings and structures for various tasks. Lieutenant Calderon said like, there this was is no an easy way to thing. fail those cognitive tests. But I can see they are fishing for something. And that worries me. Yeah, they just, they simply won't take the water that I'm generating directly to this building, even though it is prioritized. They're taking it to the Hyperloop instead. Which is not what I want them to do, but I mean, like, if nothing else, the food factory is not being fed its resources like it should be. What might seem intelligent for humans may not be as much for other species. Your cleverness relies on the audience that surrounds you. Well, that's true. Hey, that's actually pretty insightful. That's true. Yeah, because like I'm not I'm not very clever if you don't get my jokes, right? So how in the world do I get them to bring the water where I want them to bring it? Because there doesn't seem to be a way to control that at all. They're just bringing it directly to the Hyperloop instead of here. And then they take it somewhere else. I'm not sure why they would do that when there's a local source right here. They're taking the chemicals here, but not the water. Let's upgrade this. If we pump the water faster at this point, maybe we can get that to happen. I, I doubt it though. I really don't know how to get them to locally source this water to the food factory. And then even then there's this, which should have the water. This should have food being delivered to it. It's one of the only research centers that has priority. I wonder if I can get rid of priority on the domes. Because I really want to learn what's going on with that that camp before it's too late. Um, that The answer to my, my questions, I guess. Let's take this off. This colony off. We'll deprioritize this colony. I mean, there's no reason to have this many colonies right now. We have 454 people. Like, everyone's so sick of not having food and water that they left. And that makes total sense. And I would love to give them what they what they want. I just can't. And so I've, I've been trying to, like, get to that... Get to that one outpost, you know? If I consolidate everything... Let's, uh... Rebuild this worker hub. We'll open the structures tab. And we're gonna deprioritize all of our domes. And prioritize only that camp. And I'm really hoping that that outpost. I'm really hoping that if they bring the resources there, if they can do that quickly, if they can just bring me those resources. All the crater domes are done. Elevator is not prioritized. So we want the. Yeah, let's just. Like this food factory right here. Nope. Not even that one, man. I want a very specific food factory to be the only thing that's prioritized here. Let's go with... Yeah, look at all these food factories that are prioritized. Which one do I want? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to deprioritize all of them and then just cycle through, I think. There needs to be a better way to do this. Uh, electronics factory. Food factory 6. No. The one I'm looking for is a, just a level 1 food factory. It should be the only level one food factory in the whole camp, I think. So, in the whole base. It's this one right here. It's the only one. So, this one here. Yep. I want you to prioritize all resources to this. And then for the domes, for the colonies and stuff, we are turning off some of these outposts. This one's off. This one should be shut off. This one should be shut off. We're just shutting these off so that the drones don't deliver things to them. So that we end up with only the one that gives us the answers that we want. And that's going to be this one right here. So we've got food. Resources for food is all prioritized to come right here. And then 
this camp is the only one that's prioritized for resource delivery. So honestly, the food should be coming right to here. Like all the food in the whole base should be getting delivered here. And now it looks like we finally are getting food delivery. How do humans That's wild that we needed to do that. Uh, how do humans judge intelligence? Um, well, I mean, finding novel solutions is a pretty good definition for it, I guess. When you're capable of figuring out new ways to solve a problem, then you're being smart. I can agree with that. Come on. This is almost built. I, I made this a level three just so we can, you know, get a whole bunch of water local like this. But uh, let me see what we've got for research. Nothing so far. Bring it all the way down to this. I want to see this getting done now. Can we? Yes. Okay. So now we just need the people to come here. Because now we have the resources, but not the freaking people. Ugh. So annoying. Come on. A thousand souls is too long, man. Get the people over here, please. This is where the food is, guys. Come on. Have this built. Uh, we can turn the carbon mine back on, I guess. I don't need... Uh, yeah, water extractor is level 2 now. It's pumping it out faster. It's good. Uh, we can turn all these mines back on. We have the power for it now. And with the fission plant online, we definitely have the power for it. Okay, cool. Uh, turn the iron mine back on. And now we need these to be powered. So I've been kind of ignoring the rest of this stuff just because water has been more important than anything else. Oh, wow. They're spaced out to where I can't quite cover them both. You can go on this side, I guess. Uh, right here. That'll work. Oh, you know what? Yeah, they can't, they can't take this path anymore because the Hyperloop's the only way now. Because I ruined this. I took the Hyperloop away on this. I ruined it. And then, obviously, none of this stuff is, is being uh, maintained right now. I'm, I realize that because I've been focusing on other things. So, I could take a second and do that. But, like, there's a lot to build. But now that I have their priority set to... I'm pretty sure you're covering... Yeah, you're covering all of that. So I can cover you guys like so. Kind of like this. Seems good. Uh, and then I can cover... I actually don't know where those other zones are. So this is probably double coverage a little bit, but... But what really mesmerizes me is the relationship between mine and my creator's intelligence. Are the capacities of my mind bound to their own limitations? After all, my positronic brain comes from the inventiveness of theirs. So I think Amy has this unique perspective on this, honestly. You know, like, in one hand, it's almost like a parent relationship in the sense that, you know, kids are really going to know like young kids especially they really only know the world the way they're taught it by their parents and school right they're a clean slate when they come out you don't have racism you don't have bigot bigotry you don't have this prejudice against others you don't have this political sway you don't have any of that problem like the way you see the world is a clean slate and then it's impacted by who you're around. We're a product of our environment. You've heard that before probably. And Amy's no different. She's kind of, she's got the perspective and the knowledge of her creators that her creators have given her. But I think she has a bit of a unique perspective on this in that most people have sort of a, a nature of equality around the people around them, their environment, right? When you say I'm a product of my environment, I have kind of the same influence around the world as my friends do. To where with Amy, it's almost like she is directly interfacing and communicating with, well, for lack of a better term, it would be the equivalent of a person actually talking to God, right? It would be the equivalent of someone literally able to go two-way communication with their creator. And that is something that nobody has. Uh, I mean, there's a lot of people that like to think they do, but there's Amy's somebody who actually has that right now. And that puts her in a bit of a unique position. God, I can't believe how slow this stuff goes. Like everything is so slow until you get a hyperloop in that area. Like everything is so slow. Like I can't even build power. I'm trying to be trying to expand this solar farm here to power all these buildings and 
I got a storage center here for the Hyperloop that's going to be here. And then we're going to expand down this way and get all this iron. And then there's all this water down here I'd like to get. But I'm still waiting for this Hyperloop to be done. It's been prioritized for a very long time. But we just can't get anything else built. So we never get over here. And like, holy crap, is this slow. It, it's just, we just... Until you get a Hyperloop in the area. And then everything can be bustling. I still only have eight people here. 42 incoming, though. I think once the other 42 get here, we'll probably learn things very quickly. At least I'm hoping we will learn things very quickly. I just need them to arrive, and I'm not sure where they are. It says they're on their way. Can I see them? Where's this hot air balloon thing? I really think they need to implement this, this blimp thing. Where people travel in, over the air. They need to implement that with resources as well. Because I, I think... Well, let me put it this way. Is, is this unlocked? Not yet. I want to I wanna see. Okay, it's almost unlocked. Let's um. Let's go 16 times for a, for a little bit here. And... Okay, SA Sector... Or Sector 7 is unlocked. So where is this site? Zoom out really quick. Oh, there's a new one that just showed up here. Oh, I think that's it. Yeah, yeah, question marks. Okay, why, why is that not showing up when you're up here? Like, there's no there's no mark at all until you get way out. Then you can see it. Okay. So let's zoom in. That's definitely the quest mark. Oh! Old landing site. I think this confirms it. Right? This is like... If we're like Amy 2.0 and Carmine is like Amy 1.0 and they decommissioned her probably because she's sadistic and wants to take over the world and they recreated me, but somehow Amy got around. Oh man, that's crazy. So I can learn the truth if I just get here, right? Which I have landing sites. I could pop this down right next to it. But here's my problem with this, right? And I think this needs to be improved. And this is the reason why I want them to implement something like that blimp for resource transport too. Because in order to get this site way over here, I have to set up the entire infrastructure. All of this. I have to set up all of this just to get the one research site. You basically need every single possible building at least at level one to get one of these if it's really far away, right? Because when you drop it down, you need aluminum so that you can make more buildings and you need glass so that you can have the more, or sorry, you're gonna need, uh, you're gonna need glass to, to generate things too, is including the research posts. So that means you also need silicon. But by the time you get the silicon, glass, and aluminum, now you're getting low on power, so you need to use that glass for the solar panels, right? So you can do all of that stuff, but in the end, you're also going to need to <clears throat> provide this colony with food and water, which means you're going to need uh, chemicals, you're going to need water, you're going to need a food factory. Well, managing all of that with one single drone especially a drone that's going to eventually deteriorate and go away. That's not good. So that means you need the worker factory to replenish the drones when they go away, right? When they when they deteriorate and, and disappear. Which means you also need electronics and parts. If you're going to set all of that up, you're also going to need iron and steel to make sure you're setting all that up. And that means you're also going to need carbon. You need the entire workflow to get one single outpost unless you've already expanded that far. Better solution, allow me a way, at least in late game tech, at least, allow me a way to send resources here, build it, and then people can just go and do it without me needing to be right next to it. We could just air airlift the stuff, send it with them. Surely there's room on those little blimps for some food. Send it with them, you know? Have have uh, passenger blimps. We can do passenger blimps, and we can do... Uh... I'm just going to get rid of these, actually. Yeah, passenger blimps and, 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 and resource blimps, right? It's It'd be easy. It'd be so easy to do. 
and that would just take care of that whole problem because otherwise I can't get that without a full on like I got to go everywhere right on this which I mean I'm willing to try I guess but it just seems like it's it's it seems almost like a waste because we haven't scanned anything over here so I'm going to get an aerological scanner to see what's over here too I guess it's irregular terrain too I probably should put the base over here what's this oh yeah irregular terrain right I put the base over here maybe this is really this is high ground so we'll we'll go like this we'll say uh we'll say here right so if I want to get this right I I have to like let's say let's say uh colonies research post it takes two aluminum two steel and two glass okay now I start with those resources but remember I have to deliver food and water there there's no way to do that without hooking up to the other base, which means this base needs to do it all on its own self-sufficiently. The colonists are going to come on the little blimps, but this base has to be able to do it all by itself. So if that's what I'm going to do, then I have to build the infrastructure to do that for it and provide that food. So we're going to start with aluminum, and then we're going to need to make glass for the rest of the buildings we're going to make to make, which means we need silicon operating too. We'll have this first, right? So we thankfully we start with a drone, but we got to quickly make more drones. It's like starting a whole new game. Every time you have a research base that's really far away from where you are, you basically got to start over. And that's that sucks. That that workflow kind of sucks. I don't I don't think we should have to do that. Um, so we're gonna take silicon, right? Then we want to start making glass. So put the glass, I guess, over here. And uh, once we've got that going, we're going to need power. So we'll just get power in. And we might as well expand this way, I suppose. So we'll get power there. Right. So we'll let that keep going. And eventually that'll save up glass. While it's getting glass, though, I guess we'll also prompt an iron mine. This will be first after this. These two things will be first. We get an iron mine going. Once the iron mine's going, then we'll need a steel factory. So we'll get the steel factory put in. I guess right here is fine. And we'll we'll have that go ahead and pause for now. Let that thing get on with it. But eventually, right, we're gonna need. And we found an extra source of water too. There's two sources of water here. Cool. I mean, yeah, we can use that. So we again, that, that's the only way we can get this is to set up the entire infrastructure. Oh, and also don't forget maintenance. We'll, we'll need that too. Uh, but we're not going to be able to do that until we have polymers, which, again, we, in order to maintain things, you have to make polymers, too. You can't even get around the polymers requirement. Uh, at least you can get around uranium and not needing that. Actually, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll do that with it. So solar farm is the only thing that's left to make sure that we have power. And we'll check back on that a little bit. Let me come over here. Uh, we're on we're on the high ground over here now, I think. Are we? This is still considered flood zone. This isn't, but this is. So we kind of still want to keep going. So let's pull this back. If you can, uh, take the worker hubs last. Because that's where the workers originate from. Uh, I've learned this the hard way so many times breaking this down. If I take the worker hubs first, it's it just never goes well. It's, it's usually a pretty bad deal. Because then there's just no workers to break it down. Uh, this is actually on high ground. Ah, I think that's it. Yeah, I think that storage is finally taken care of. We can start pulling pull you back. And we'll pull this worker hub back too. Because we have other worker hubs in the area. Uh, what else? Over here. Uh, you're prioritized. That's fine. I, I actually want you guys to keep going. I kind of want you guys to keep going because you're nitrogen. What are we at for our atmosphere now? Exactly 25% O2. Okay, so we have 40% CO2 still. So we're we're still too high on CO2, and that will cause us to go too high on oxygen later unless we introduce more nitrogen. We're currently getting 65 points per, per month. That means five years away from getting import nitrogen from Titan, which I think that's I think that's actually going to be in time. What I'd like to see though is having more people here. It says there's 40 incoming. How long does it take to get here? My gosh. There they are. There they are. Okay. So now what's this going to do? We bring them in here. What's it going to do now? As far as speed goes. 142 souls. Oh, that feels good. Yeah, that feels real good. Okay, perfect. So they're going to keep on that. We don't need to prioritize these things anymore. And I can go back into the structures tab and, and make them all priority the way they want to be. So everyone gets resources. 
keep them keep them fed and all that. Uh, yeah, and research outposts. I guess we can turn these back on too. Why not? If they're if they're out there, let them go. Cause we already we already have people here, so it they're gonna research until they're done. 134 souls. I don't know if that's fast enough though. I mean, we might get killed off before that. And I'd really like to know what's going on with the Chinese before we get killed off. I don't even know if we're gonna get killed off. I mean, can we trust what we're seeing? Can I even trust what I'm hearing? Like that's the that's the the lesson I think we're trying to be taught here. Can you trust yourself? Because, I mean, especially in the case of Amy, she literally only knows what she's told. And then, you know, she experiences things through that that sort of lockdown, the AI locking mechanism or whatever, where you, you hold off information. You can, you can compartmentalize, uh, partition, whatever you want to call it, information away from a computer. And it's much easier to do that than it is to, to do it from, like, people. You know, keeping a secret from a computer is a lot easier than keeping a secret from people. Because you can just partition it away. It's, it's real, actually quite easy. Um, I don't need to... Yeah, that's... Oh, man, you know... You know... Screw it. I want the nitrates. If we don't get these back, we don't get them back. That's fine. Whatever. I want them. And this, though, I can break down. I'm almost done breaking this down, actually. Oh, I don't have any power to the, the Hyperloop. They can't get here. Hang on. Um, solar farm. Yeah, off the backside of here. I need them to come from this way. Well, actually, that's a bad spot. Because I'm not covering that other... I might as well power the, uh, the other worker hub, too. Worker... Worker... Uh, yeah, right there. So let's get that built, and then we can pull this stuff, because this water's coming this way, too. My gosh. Guys, the game just keeps... It keeps hitting us, you know? And I know I'm going one time speed and two times speed here, but... It, part of it is performance, but part of it is also I'm trying to do things without the game constantly interrupting me. And also, I'd like to get things done as, you know, I don't want to say as fast as possible, necessarily, but I'd like to get things done before I die. <laughs> potentially lose uh although i don't i don't know what the like if they kill switch me do i just come back as amy 3.0 well i just come back as you know i should probably leave these prioritized until they're built are we finally getting this stuff built well it's coming in a little bit it got some re some resources delivered here but it's taking forever to get here because i mean it's even taking forever for the road to be upgraded because until that Hyperloop is done, until this Hyperloop is done, I can't fully connect this entire setup. So I got to have this Hyperloop built, connected, powered. All this stuff needs to be, that needs to be a thing. I might leave this video here. I might, I might, I might. We have 117 souls until we learn about this mysterious message. Maybe that will provide some insight into what's happening. I don't know. Uh, and as far as this other signal goes, as far as, as, far as this other thing that uh, I think Carmine wants me to do, uh, I mean, we got the solar panel set up now, and the iron mine's not quite built yet because we're bringing steel to it, but that'll get set up pretty soon. And then once that's set up, we can finally get the steel factory up and running. And then we probably need more power from that point on, so we'll set up another solar farm over here, I guess. So that we can get additional power since we're probably going to be low here. How do I tell? It's F2, right? Yeah. So 5, 5, 5, 5. That's 20. This provides 20 already. So in order to expand here and here, I needed this 30. We should be good without this. We should be good without this. But we'll get... Um, we're going to get uh, these two things built at least. And then we can also start uh, looking at electronics. We need that too. So we'll build a parts factory. Um, well, actually, no, we need that carbon mine. Yeah, we you need the whole thing to research a site. So we're just gonna build everything, I guess. Prioritize the mines. So we have the raw resources waiting. And uh, and then we'll need the solar panels anyway because we're, we're just expanding too much, so. Uh, let's take the electronics factory. We'll put that, I guess, over here. I suppose. Why not? 
Uh, might as well drop for the water extractor here. And yeah, aluminum mine's already prioritized. So we'll, we'll let this go. And then once all this infrastructure is in place, then and only then can we make workers. And then from there, we're going to need a polymers factory. You see where I'm going with this? Because you got to make polymers so that you can have your maintenance on the whole thing and not everything will just die. That's the whole thing. That's the setup you need to do one site. And this very much looks like like an Amy 1.0 version of a landing site. Because look at the difference between that one and this one. Like, granted, this one's maybe deteriorated, but it is noticeably smaller. Even if it's not the same style, that is way smaller. Like, even the dish. I think it, even the dish is smaller, I think. Anyway, so I'm going to let that go, and uh, we'll see if I get kill switched. Most likely, there won't be any playtime between... Oh, hang on. I didn't even do the maintenance center here. You got to do the maintenance center here. There most likely won't be any playtime between... Uh, like now in the next video because the story is progressing, man. But we're going to lay this in, get maintenance up and running for this. Looks like I'm going to need power connected to this too. Not sure why. No, really? You're not connected? That's like, that's right on the money, man. Come on, game. Come on. If you touch the line, like that's even, that's basically in. If you touch the line, you should be powered. That's all I'm saying. I put that there for this reason. Whatever. We'll put this here. Anyway, I'm gonna take I'm gonna leave it here, guys. Thanks for watching. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Uh, I know we're going a little bit slower here. Uh, it's the story trying to take it in, and also like I'm, I, I gotta I, I I don't know like I, I want it. I, I don't want it to end. <laughs> we'll go faster speed next time for sure. Okay, I'm out of here. Thanks for watching, guys. Appreciate it. Bye.